Good evening, and welcome to a private showing of three paintings, displayed here for the first time. Each is a collector's item in its own way, not because of any special artistic quality, but because each captures on a canvas, suspended in time and space, a frozen moment of a nightmare. That, my friends, is how uh, Rod Serling opened up the Night Gallery, which was a spectacular television show that uh, aired for three seasons from uh, December of 1970 through May of 1973. Prior to that, it had uh, its pilot air in November of 1969. The pilot's pretty well known because uh, the pilot was just three episodes, Escape Route, the Cemetery and Eyes, and Eyes starred Joan Crawford, and it was actually Steven Spielberg's directorial debut. All three episodes are freaking spectacular. Um, and then the series began uh, just over a year later. Um, if you guys are not familiar with The Night Gallery, you have got to check it out. Um, Rod Serling, who was born in Syracuse, New York, um, obviously famous for The Twilight Zone, which I love dearly. Uh, the Night Gallery is very different from The Twilight Zone, but so freaking amazing. If you haven't seen it, you've got to watch these episodes. They're available, the whole bundle, all the episodes are available in a DVD box set. And that DVD box set, along with two books, were gifted to me by my sister-in-law and her fiance uh, for my birthday a couple of months ago. They got me uh, Rod Serling, His Life, Work, and Imagination by Nicholas Parisi. Uh, and it's, this is fantastic because I love Rod Serling. I've seen every Twilight Zone and every Night Gallery episode many times over. Um, I don't know that much about the man, though. Everything I've read about him just paints the picture of a really, really talented, great guy. Um, but obviously there's a lot of info in here, so I can't wait to read this. The other book that they got me, uh, Rod Serling's Night Gallery, an After Hours Tour. This one is by Scott Skelton and Jim Benson, and this one is dedicated specifically uh, to the Night Gallery. The, the format of the show is pretty, pretty cool. It basically was hosted by Serling, who wrote many of the episodes. A lot of them were also adapted from uh, some famous works by Lovecraft, August Derleth. But basically, he would uh, open the show with artwork covered in, you know, red velvet. And he would kind of pull the cover off the artwork. And that painting, it was occasionally a, a sculpture, but they were, they were mostly paintings, uh, would be emblematic of the episode to come. And uh, they, we wouldn't necessarily be, uh, you know, a, a specific character from the episode or anything like that, uh, but they were all fantastic. The uh, original, or I should say, the, uh, the three paintings in the pilot were all done by Yaroslav Gabor, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, and then the vast majority of the rest of the paintings for the show were done by Thomas Wright and they're all just amazing, stunning works of art. So along those lines, here's where the unboxing comes in. Um, <clears throat> Creature Features, uh, which has not published a, a lot of books, but they've, they've published a few, um, did a, a Kickstarter last year, and the Kickstarter was specific to this book, and, you know, again, there are books about Rod Serling, there are books about Night Gallery, and I can't wait to read, can't wait to read them, but here, this is something else entirely. the room.
Thank you for your order of the deluxe signed slipcased edition of Rod Serling's Night Gallery, The Art of Darkness. Uh, your rewards will be arriving in a separate shipment shortly. Thank you again for all your patience and support. Um, very, very cool. Box is in a box. Stand by. <sighs> yeah. uh, I was happy to support this book. There's extras. Look at this. Okay. Uh, so there's what looks like a, a bookmark as well as uh, some artwork from inside the book um, as just a kind of an art print. But look at that. Insane. Um, this, is, this has been a long time coming. Um, and with all of the, you know, it's, it's hard to get a book like this published and made, period, these days, unfortunately, because uh, it, it's not like millions and millions of people are going to buy it. Um, oh boy, look at this. Limited edition 13 of 300. This uh, signed by Thomas Wright, the painter I was telling you about. Um, and I, I gotta see, hang on. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful slipcase. Scott Skelton and, and Jim Benson. So the very two uh, gentlemen who wrote this fine book that I can't wait to read also wrote this book and uh, and these guys along with Thomas Wright the painter signed uh, this card which I obviously can put in the book uh, if I want to um, I don't know if I will or not or if I'll just keep it on its own super uh, yeah, okay hold on we're, we're getting there I know it's taken a while I gotta I gotta do this carefully because uh, I'm an idiot. And I don't want to ruin anything. I can uh, I can ruin stuff like there's no tomorrow. Don't want to do it though. Look at that. Ah. Oh. oh yeah. So this is just a few of the paintings represented on the cover here. Um, I want to open this up for you guys though, so I can show you what the inside is like. So very cool. Uh, it's matte black, as you can see, but the artwork, the, the color artwork of the paintings uh, are all glossy. So it really, I don't know if that's picking up the light or not, but super cool. Artwork from the opening. If that doesn't creep you out, I don't know what would. Uh, and there he is. There's the man uh, with three beautiful paintings about to be unveiled. Um, I mean, I can't even, I, I, all of these paintings as I leave through this, uh, I remember each one of these paintings, I remember each one of these episodes, and I, oh my gosh, Pickman's model, based on Lovecraft's short story, which just blows my mind, it's just insane. Um, anyways, uh, I, oh wow, and here's the back, look at that, man, oh man, oh man, uh, here's the Joan Crawford painting, uh, done by Yaroslav Gabor for, uh, the pilot, it sold recently, I, I think it was assumed that this painting was lost, it was found and it was auctioned off last year, I want to say for 90 grand, 
$90,000, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm pretty positive that you can still order this book. I will put all of the info uh, down below so that you can grab it while you still can. Uh, Taylor White, the man behind Creature Features, did such a stunning job with this. Um, just the, you know, the paper, the binding, the, the artwork. There's a, there's a foreword by Anne Serling, Rod Serling's daughter, uh, an introduction by Guillermo de Toro, uh, who is a, a huge fan of, uh, of Night Gallery. Um, so I just, yeah, I want to say thank you to, uh, to Taylor for loving and believing in this show, uh, more than anybody. And, um, and a special thank you also to my very good friend, Jim, who, uh, Man, he's, he's been, uh, this, Jim has been my friend for almost 30 years, and uh, I got introduced to, to Taylor and to this uh, beautiful book being created through my friend Jim, who had so much to do with this book, um, but as with all of the things that he does, it's behind the scenes, and he doesn't take a lot of credit and, uh, but it, it wouldn't have happened without him either. So thanks to those guys. Uh, this is just gorgeous. This is Jeff, Bookhouse Boy. See you next time.